dear viewers hope you all are doing well welcome to zenziet we are studying forms of business organization class 11 business studies so in our previous videos uh, we have studied two forms of business organization like we have covered a uh, sole proprietorship and we have also looked into hindu undivided family businesses so if you have missed these videos i am attaching the link in the description box please go through it today we will be studying into the next form of business organization that is partnership form so so far what we have studied like mainly i would like to say that is sole proprietorship in that we studied that there is only one person who is involved in the business and he is investing his capital he is put uh, like he is getting profits out of it and is also bearing all the risk that is coming on the way of the business but yes uh, there were some demerits also like uh, sometimes it might be unlimited liability or it can be like continuity of business or there's no good expertise or like he not might be uh, good at everything so such businesses or uh, like there's another form of business which is covering all the demerits of our i can say sole proprietorship that is known as a partnership business so partnership business is in simple i would like to say like two or more people come together and form a business so they invest they put all their expertise use their skills and knowledge and make profits and yes share risk among themselves so this is a simple meaning of our partnership form of business according to indian partnership act 1932 partnership is the relationship between the persons who have agreed to share the profits agreed to share the profits of the business carried on by all or one of them acting for all so as we just looked in that uh, it is a relationship between persons who have agreed to share the profits of the business for this business might be carried on by all or it might be one of them one of the person who is acting for all so this is a partnership business let us look into the features of our partnership form of business so first is like formation so mainly there is a formation it must be according to our indian partnership act 1932 so there is a we have like there is an agreement uh, known as partnership deed where all the terms and conditions of the partnership like the complete details of the partners what are the capitals they are bringing in and what is the share of profits or what is the share of loss uh, what is the liability everything is mentioned so it's the formation is according to the indian partnership act 1932 so the next feature is liability so the one thing that to remember is that the liability of our partnership form of business is unlimited so like repaying the debts the partners even have to keep from their personal liability uh, to pay off the debts so it's like unlimited liabilities so next is like risk bearing yes the risk is shared among all as the profit is shared among all the risk is also shared among all the partners so continuity as we looked into the business form that is sole proprietorship like if the what owner or i mean the sole proprietor uh, dies or like something any such condition comes on his way uh, there is like the business usually stops like there is a question of continuity but here there is nothing as such uh, there is no uh, the, any such uh, activities like death or in so uh, i mean insanity of uh, a partner will not bring any uh, continuity questions of the partnership form of business so the business continues irrespective of uh, employees uh, i mean the partners uh, conditions so next is uh, decision making and control so there is very much good expertise now there are more two to three persons so decision making and control is among all of them so number of partners uh, the minimum number of partners for to form a partnership business is 2 minimum number is 2 and maximum is up to 50 at present the maximum is up to 50 so the next feature is mutual agency mutual agency in the sense that we just looked into the definition that it is agreed by all 
and uh, the business is carried on by all or one of them acting for all so there's a mutual relationship between the partners that they have agreed that they will carry on this business so these are the features of our partnership uh, form of organization and i hope like it is giving a clear picture now into the meaning of what is partnership form of business so next let's look into the merits and demerits of partnership form so merits like advantages easy formation and closure so there's no much long procedures so the formation is simple and also the closure is simple uh, according to the indian partnership act 1932 so balanced decision making there's a very good expertise a uh, lot of people are involved in the business and uh, so there will be balanced decision making and control more funds so one of the disadvantage which we were looking at, looked into in the sole proprietor's form of business like single person he will alone invest the capital and uh, that is what here in the partnership where there are more than two people uh, so when they invest so it's like four funds and sharing risk yes more funds more profit as also more risk so risk is also shared among all the partners secrecy so whatever secrets we have of the business is among the uh, partners secrecy maintained between the partners so next the demerits of our partnership is unlimited liability so one of the important demerit of our partnership form of business is the liability of the partners is unlimited so to pay off to repay the debts they have to even keep up their personal properties or personal assets so the liability of the partners is unlimited limited resources possibility of conflicts so there might be chances that uh, when like more than more than two people come together and they have differences in opinions differences in way of conducting the business so there might be possibility of a conflicts too so lack of continuity sometimes yes due to such conflicts and all such cases there might be lack of continuity lack of public confidence so lack of uh, public confidence in the sense that uh, there is no legal uh, mechanism that is, is enforcing the partnership form of business so the registration of the partnership form and disclosure of its uh, affairs is not like according to any legal procedures so there's a lack of public confidence in the partnership form of business now let's look into the types of partners like different types of partners based on like how actively they are participating in the management and uh, how they are performing the business activities there are different types of partners so the first is like active partner so as the name suggests so this is an active partner who contributes capital and participates in the management of the firm so like it sh he shares in profits and loss and his lab and his liabilities unlimited to the extent of creditors of the firm so like the liability of our active partner is unlimited he actively takes participate in the management and contributes the capital so the partners take active actual part in carrying out the business on behalf of other partners so this is our active partner next we have like sleeping or dormant partner here again as the name sounds like they do not take active part in the day-to-day -day activities are called as sleeping partners but yes they contribute capital and uh, they have their share in the profit and loss and their liability is unlimited too so as our active partner and sleeping partner both contribute capital share profit and loss and have unlimited liability but the active partner is active and carry on the business whereas uh, sleeping partner uh, does not actively carry out day-to-day -day business activities so next is like secret partner so secret partner is like this partner exists but the general public will have no information that this partner is a partner of partnership firm so yes a secret partner is a person whose association with the firm is unknown the association firm is unknown to the general public on the other hand is this distinct feature 
all the aspects it is like the rest of the partners he contributes to the capital takes part in management shares profits and loss and the unlimited liability yes his liability is unlimited he shares in the profit and loss he invests the capital but his identity he is unknown to the general public that he is also a partner of this partnership firm next is like nominal partner so the nominal partner is one who allows his or her name uh, to use by the firm but does not contribute his capital so nominal partner is like only his name they are using as a partner but he is not investing any capital in that business so it does not take any active part to and does not share any profit and loss but he is liable like other parties to the third like other partners to the third parties for the repayment of uh, firm's debts so nominal partner he is like does not contribute to the capital has uh, does not share any profit and loss does not take any active part only his name is used in the firm that he is a partner but yes he has some liabilities that uh, he has the liabilities to third party for the repayment of the firm's debts next form of uh, next type of partner is partner by estoppel so next type is partner by estoppel a person is considered a partner of estoppel through his or her own initiative conduct or behavior gives an impression to others that he is a partner of firm so like based on our actions based on our initiative our behavior we are giving an idea to the others that they are the partner of the firm so that is a partner by estoppel so partner by holding out is the next like partner by holding out is a person though is not a partner of a firm but knowingly represents himself as a partner of a firm so partner by holding out is like the, that person is not the partner but he knows that he is not a partner but still he represents himself as a partner of a firm is known as partner by holding out such a person becomes liable to outside creditors for repayment of any debts which have been extended to the firm on the basis of such representation so when he is representing himself as a partner to the outside creditors and if they, like he becomes liable for the repayment of the debt for those outside creditors so this is partners by holding out so like we study different types of uh, partners and like as the names were suggesting uh, those were like the name itself gives us an idea like what type of partner is this and this is one of the important concept though the limited for all uh, i mean the liability for all the partners is unlimited we have to just uh, understand the uh, term the name of the partner according to that we can uh, find out whether they are investing the capital and their share and profit and loss but yes the liability will be unlimited so next will be like types of partnerships like types of partnership forms there are like classification on the basis of liabilities one is like general liability and the other one is like limited liability so the general liability is nothing but unlimited liability so all the partners have unlimited liability for a business's debts and obligations so if like a partnership owes money to the another company a creditor can collect on an individual partner who would uh, then be responsible for that portion of the debt so the general partnership is nothing but a unlimited partner uh, i mean unlimited liability so the next is limited liability or uh, limited liability as the name again suggests so limited is nothing but uh, the liability is limited up to the capital investment or the capital contribution so this is one type of partnership so next is like the classification on the basis of duration so here the du the, there are two types of uh, partnership here that is partnership by will and a particular partnership so the partnership by the will is like there's no fixed time for this partnership business so the like if they want to dissolve or discontinue the partnership the partners can give notice to the other partners and they can dissolve so like the part this form of partnership will is like the will of the continuity is mainly lies with the partners 
whereas in our particular uh, partnership uh, form of business so there is a particular specific uh, time period we can say so after that time period the business comes to an end or we can say there is a particular uh, goal or aim that the business wants to achieve and once that is done the partnership comes to an end so these are two types of partnership that is uh, on the basis of liability general and uh, limited liability on the basis of duration it is a partnership at will and particular partnership so i hope this is clear let's move to the next concept that is partnership deed so now what is partnership deed uh, partnership deed i can say in simple terms it's an agreement where there's a detail of everything detail about partner detail about partner what, how much capital is he bringing what is his share of profit how much loss he has to bear what will be his extent of liability and all and even the personal information of the partners is all recorded in the that uh, agreement so it is like a partnership deed so a partnership is a volunteer association of people who come together for achieving common objectives so in order to enter into partnership a clear agreement with respect to terms condition and all aspects concerning to partners is essential so that there is no misunderstanding later among the partners so as we read out here a clear agreement and that agreement is about terms condition and all the aspects which are concerned in a partners or partnership form of business and this is important because there is should be no misunderstanding later in the partners so let us see what are the contents of our partnership deed so first will be like name of the firm next nature of business and location of business so what kind of business this uh, partnership will undertake and what is the location of the business duration of the business so like it will be a partnership at will or a partnership or uh, like particular partnership so what is the duration investment made by the each partner contribution of profits and losses so what is the investment or what is the capital investment by all of our partners what is the distribution of profit and loss duties and obligations of the partners salaries and withdrawals of the partners is also mentioned in our partnership deed next we have terms governing the admission retirement and exclusion of the partners so like what what are the steps to be taken when there is like we are admitting a new partner so like when there is a new partner so more profit will come i mean more capital is invested so when the new partner also comes in so there should be a share of profit for him too so there will be again the calculation of new profit sharing ratio so all such uh, calculations or uh, the terms which govern the admission and on the retirement if the person is leaving uh, so when that person leaves what if the remaining partners or pro profit and loss ratio we have to Uh, calculate so all such is known as uh, all such calculations and how to carry on the business after such uh, changes like after maybe like admission or retirement uh, so all such conditions are also in our partnership deed interest on capital on interest on drawing so how much interest is to be uh, given on interest on capital and how much interest is to be charged on the drawings and procedure for dissolution of the firm so what are the steps to be undertaken when we are dissolving the firm preparation of accounts and their auditing so the steps for the preparation of account what standards to be followed and what method of accounting procedures to be followed and uh, the auditing process method of solving the disputes very important as we also studied that there might be some conflicts among the partners at any time and if any such cases what will be the final conclusion how they will solve the disputes is also in our partnership deed so this is it for like partnership form of business organization so we studied about various concepts here like what was the meaning looked into the features and then we got a very clear picture about the meaning and what a, what form of business it is next we looked into merits and demerits and we also studied different types of partners based on like how much capital they are investing and how much actively they are participating in the cap uh, i mean the management what is their share of profit and loss and like but still the liability of all the partners will be unlimited next we looked into uh, like duration 
types of partnership forms like one was about duration other one was about liability so we studied that next we looked into like different uh, what is our partnership day and what are the contents of our partnership day so i'm sure that this should be clear to you like what is the partnership form of business and how it is carried on what are its merits demerits and everything concepts which we studied today if you have any confusion you can put up into the comment section and uh, i'll be very happy to solve your queries and yes if you have missed subscribing our channel please subscribe and hit on the bell icon so that you do not miss the video notifications and yes please share our channels with your friends and yeah happy learning see you in the next video with the next form of business organization mm -hmm.